Loving vibrations, light information, peace vibrations, healing the nation, unity vibrations, it's a love celebration, yeah with limitless vibrations. Greetings, fellow Earthlings. This is Limitless Vibrations, presenting you with another Deshaun. On this lovely, sunny day, I'd love to come out with the truth and to speak nothing but the truth always to you. Because when I do that, I release this dis-ease within me and I feel free because the truth sets you free and I would like to always speak the truth and the more I speak the truth is the more I it becomes easier to speak the truth and the more I hear the truth the easier it is to hear the truth and you know it's not so hard so I'm coming out of the closet and need to get something off my chest <laughs> that I've been wanting to, to, to speak to you all about for a while now. And that is the topic of love and romance and twin flames and soulmates. And for me, I never thought this, this could ever happen to me, you know? It's something maybe I've always maybe dreamed of but not really something that just came out of the blue you know unexpectedly like a wave huge wave crashing over me that I never even knew was that gigantic and for me I've felt in love a couple times before but it was always hopeless um, and this time <laughs> tell you the details later but this time I did fall in love and uh, it was for real for real for real love nothing like I've ever experienced before and nothing that I've ever seen before you know I've ever witnessed only from my experience have I experienced this and it is truly a love that shakes you to the core of your being like a love that rattles you up a love that like makes your insides spark of butterflies your tummy tummy butterflies like i love that like just like your soul your soul is like electrified you know like damn like where'd that come from it's so energizing and like even just talking about it is like getting me like what does it exist yes it does so this love came out of the blue not something i found on the internet you know came out of the blue unexpectedly and I think that's when the best things come and for me it did not right away some people fall in love at first sight for me that's not how it happened at first I was just like <laughs> I saw her I saw her I saw her for the first time I was like what is what's going on here I was just like walking around I was in Ecuador and I was walking around and and just like being myself and then she was I just like just looking in the distance I was like what what is that I was like who is that and then as I walked closer and closer and closer I was just like whoa <laughs> like the amazement just went up skyrocketing I was like what are you like who are you and she came out with her singing bowls and essential oils and roomy and it was whoa like who is this girl like never seen anything like this before I may be hyping it up a bit, but for me it was it was a magnificent moment. And she came to me and she she gave me the best welcoming ever to a community. And she kissed me on the hand. I've never been she was like, welcome Hermes. 
I was like, what? The, what's happening? I was like completely shocked. I was just like, is this real life? What did I do to deserve this? And then that happened. And then from that moment on, I was just like amazed and utter amazement of the beingness of the, the presence that came to me with her presence. And the feelings only grew from there on out. And we... I, it was like almost love at first sight. Um, a love that like teaches you, teaches you what it truly means to love because there is a lot of lust out there and there's a lot of lust everywhere, you know? Nobody really truly knows what it means to be true love. And when I fell in love with this woman in particular, I never expected anything like it to happen. So it just completely slapped me in the face with just like, <laughs> wake up, that's not what true love is about. And then there are many times where I've experienced things that I've never ever experienced before with her, with anybody else that I experienced with her. And it was, it was truly magical, truly magical that goes beyond this human experience, that goes beyond the typical relationship that anybody can experience within, that everybody has ever experienced within their entire relationship in an entire lifetime. Like, this is like complete, complete, perfect key to like a perfect door, to like open that door. That's kind of like the love that happened with me. And I felt, so many times I felt like, man, the super knowing feeling around her, like the super homey feeling, the super like, whoa, this feels so much at home. Like I've never felt this way before with anybody else. Like, like home feeling, like home, just feels so cozy, so comfortable, so safe, so like, man, it's like the best home ever. Like it is the best home ever. I would say that I've it's like it's just an amazing homey feeling like you have to experience it like like the, with the, a home that has like everything that you need like a home that has everything that you need like a home that has a, a big TV and a big um, jacuzzi and like a shower and a hot tub and a sauna and like, <laughs> like a big backyard with the trampoline and, and all that good jazz like and a juicer of course and a, Hydra and all that things <laughs> that kind of home um and so many times i felt like a deja vu feeling like i've been here before with her or i've felt this before like so many times like i can't even count the many times this happened so many times i felt a mag magnetism magnetism like an actual magnet like pulling us together like pulling us closer and closer no matter how hard I try to or even if I try not to like see her or she tries not to see me like we'll always like end up at the same place at the same time and like at the perfect time like when we both need it and that's when we don't even try and that's when you don't even expect for it to happen it just comes out of the blue and that's what the the entire relationship has been like a, a flame energy a flame energy i put out my hand i put out my hand she put out her hand like this and i actually i know a lot of us are sent are some of us are sensitive very few of us are sensitive to energy but this 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 was nothing i've ever experienced before nothing I've ever experienced before put on my hand she put her hand like this my flame from my body started going upwards like spiral her flame like this going downwards and like meeting in the middle and like completely synchronizing and synergizing it's like what was that where did that come from it was like, and automatically automatically the heart sent a signal to the brain it was like oh all of a sudden, I got a ah, it's like, like, 
This makes so much sense now. She's my twin flame. Ah. <laughs> and there are many, many other signs that I've written down and I've observed and I've experienced with her to verify that this is the truth. And although I'm not 100% sure, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that she is. Not 100%, because I'm not 100% sure. There are many signs, synchronicities that have pointed me in that direction, showing me that this is a twin flame connection, that this is so totally unique. Like a, if you experience, if I experience a homely feeling, if I experience a flame synergistic connection, if I experience a magnetic energy around her, if I experience like, I've experienced like moments where she would come right when I needed her. Not even when she's physically there, but when she is physically there, you know, she'll, she'll come in, she would come in at the perfect moment. And like, Hermes, Hermes. <laughs> she saved my life a couple times. When I was out in the ocean and I was getting pulled back by the currents. And I was getting this close, drawn closer into the sea, further away from the shore. I was just like panicking. I was like, what's gonna happen here? Like, I can't even, trying to swim, trying to get back to the shore, trying to get back to the shore. But like, nothing's happening, not even moving. And then she just popped up. Same with an, another girl, my best friend, both of them. <laughs> We're just like, Hermes, get over here. Hey, you can make it back. Just trust, just trust, you got this. It's like, okay, trust, trust, trust. And then I was like, I'll swim back one step at a time. Hey, just fine, one step at a time. Everything, we just fine. And slowly and surely, I did get back. So, I mean, another time she was, she was calling me. She called me. It's like a call you get. It's like a soul call. You answer the soul call, and I answered the soul call. I was like, eh, "Hello, sister." Like, Hermes, wake up, wake up. Like, you take care of yourself. Wake up, do your thing. And like, whoa. There's n nothing. Nobody has ever like answered and called and and like at the perfect time, the perfect moment, the perfect place. Like, like <laughs> this is. Like magic, like what? <sighs> She's taught me a lot about truth. It's not like she's taught me. She showed me. And that's what the twin flame, that's why I realized the twin flame is like the greatest mirror to ever look at. And that's why I always wanted to gaze at her because I would be like, I just want to gaze. She was a little bit afraid. She was a little bit afraid. Maybe she wasn't afraid. She just wasn't feeling comfortable with it. Because it's like looking at herself like fully <laughs> for a while. And we did many times. But like, I wanted to go fully in. But she wasn't ready. And I thought I was ready too, you know, for this kind of thing. Turns out I wasn't. And I realized that, like, if one twin is not in soul alignment right now, you know, at, the, at a high level, then the other twin is just gonna be at a high level, at a higher level, one's gonna pull and one's gonna push, you know? And I feel like she has. She's at a higher level than me in some aspects. And I'm at, I'm at a higher level in other aspects, a higher level of love in other aspects. Like we, we both have different shadows that we've mirrored back to each other that I personally, I personally never would have known was there if I didn't like meet this girl. If I didn't meet this girl, if I didn't meet her, because I never, never even resolved these things. I've always run away. But she helped me. She helped me get over these things and like fully conquer these fears. Fully conquer these fears like, okay, here's what you need to do. 
I can't do it for you, but you have to do it for yourself. You know? Just when I thought that I'd gotten over all jealousy traits. <laughs> uh uh uh. I started to experience jealousy around her. Just when I thought I got over all these envious things or resentment or grief, judgment, and all these things, I thought that I had no more of these emotions left over within me. It was still there and I felt it. It didn't feel good at all. And I learned that the best way to, to heal these things was actually for me to like go within completely and not talk, just sit down silent and cry because I've cried the most I've ever cried. The most I've ever cried was in front of her, in front of her. The most I've ever cried in front of anybody. I've cried dozens of times and it wasn't even hard to cry when in front of her. And the truth is, the matter of fact is, that crying actually tended to be the most healing thing, the most healing thing that I could have ever experienced and that I needed to experience because the tears, I realized, released all my fears. The tears, my tears, released all my fears and all that emotional baggage started like wash away. And whenever I looked at her, it was just like complete mirror reflection, like, okay, you need to cry and you need to feel these things. You can't run away anymore. You need to feel them. And she was like the perfect mirror I could look at. The perfect mirror I can even be around. Because that energy was just like, it was like, if you have one key in the universe, if you have one door in the universe, this is the perfect key that opens the perfect door. That kind of energy. Like totally yin yang, like totally synergistic perfect match funny thing is though she didn't feel the same she didn't feel the same which was the hardest thing in the world for me to accept at that time that I could feel this way for some being like the highest amount of love. Like, I would do anything for you. Like, I'd cry across the Sahara Desert, climb Mount Everest for you. <laughs> go to the extremes, you know? Rescue you. Because it, it's like, if you are my soul, if you are my soulmate, that is my soul. I would do anything for myself. Why wouldn't I do anything for my twin flame, my soulmate? And I feel this. And our synergy was amazing. Like, it was like nothing else. Nothing else I've ever experienced. And I'm pretty sure it was the same way for her. It was. It was like nothing else. But I felt a blockage within her. You know? I'm not going to talk much about her. But, like, she was not in the same feeling range like I was. Like, But I knew she still had something not in that sense that I wanted like the, the same thing like that I was feeling at that time so I accepted that I accepted that I said okay I accept that we can't be lovers right now and that you want to go this way and I, I'm going to take this path you know and I'm going to accept you for who you are and I'm going to release these things these jealousies, these envy traits, these these fearful emotions that I've built up within me. And I cried for hours. Cried for hours releasing that. And if you don't cry, you can only go so far. You can't release these emotions. You have to cry. And after you cry, there comes laughter. <laughs> and then you laugh back and you look back at these moments and be like... I truly experienced that, man. Wow, I'm so grateful to have met this being, to cross paths with this twin flame, this soulmate. Like, and I realized then, like, man, 
I just leveled up. <laughs> like, I just leveled up in love. Like, I completely accept her. Like, she cannot... She can... She loves me, but not in the same way I love her. You know? She loves me, 100%. And I can accept that. I can actually accept that. Like, I don't give a... I don't give a shit. Like, I don't care. I still love her. I still love her, regardless of what she does, or... Or who she's around, or what she thinks, or what she eats. I still love her. I still love her, because it's unconditional and that's the key that's the key and I've learned that she reflected back to me be unconditional and not just love her love everybody else love yourself huh unconditionally and then I get the reminder yeah love unconditionally <laughs> that's the key right So I went to, I have many stories. I went to go see her on my birthday. I drove 30 hours, 31 hours to see her on my birthday, surprise. I did a lot of surprises. Picked her up at the airport, surprise. <laughs> I uh, went to the food festival, surprise. I showed up many other times, surprise she did too. And uh, yeah, oh, my birthday, and it was the best day of my life. The best day of my life, best day of my life, best day of my life. Just being around her energy. Even though it was chaotic in that area, there was so much touristy things going on, so many people and all these things. Like with her, man, I just feel like centered, more centered, like more calm, more peace, more still, and more joyful, more alive. Like, I've never experienced that with any other woman. Like, She's like, she's got so many spices, and I call her the Spice Girl. <laughs> she is, she's the Spice Girl. She's a luminous soul. She's a luminous soul. And like, her soul's so luminous that, like, everybody loves it. Everybody really wants to hang around her, and everybody's attracted to her. Like, everybody's attracted to her. <laughs> and I guess I could say the same for me, but not in the same level, not the same degree. But... Yeah, everybody, when you are the light, it's so attractive. Like, people just want in. They want in or they want to, to get to know it. They want to feel it. They want to, to, they're curious. So, I mean, her light was just like, whoa. And my light was just like, whoa. And our light together was just like, whoa. Realize right there, like when two whole beings come together, when two whole beings come together in the whole unified state, and they unify, they make up the greatest whole in the universe. And I realized right there and then that I was only at a certain stage in my evolution, only at a certain stage of my growth, I can achieve by being alone. And then when I met her, and then when we, we hung out together for two, three months, two months pretty much, almost every day, my healing started to accelerate and growth like through the hoof and like, what? This is for real. This is for real. This is for real. I... <sighs> it's here. <laughs> Actually, it's here. And it's here for not just me, it's here for all of us. And I realized that there and then, like, huh, I don't think I would have actually met this twin flame or I would have recognized this twin flame if I wasn't at the state that I was at already. If I didn't do the cleansing, if I didn't detox, if I didn't remove all the blockages beforehand. And actually, she helped me remove a lot of blockages for me to see 2020 vision clearly that she is the one she is the one she is the one and even though i've told her that many times she's like no 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 that's just like oh, uh, like uh. She, she keeps saying like no other things and be like no that's it's just like it's a coincidence or that's like <laughs> she thinks it's interesting but she's never really like said accepted it I'm like that's okay 
That's okay. You'll come to the understanding. <laughs> if it's one year, if it's five years, if it's ten years, I'll wait. Because I know my worth. And I want you to know your worth. And to me, to me, to me, you are, you are the most precious gem in the universe. Because your gem, truly, your gem matches up with my gem in perfection, in perfection, divine perfection. Divine perfection. If it matches up perfectly, why would I want anything else? Why would I want anything else? Why would I want anything less? I can go for a, a okay match, or I can go for a good match, or a great match, but then I have the perfect match, like right here. It's worth the wait. And I won't be waiting. Because I know, I know, I feel it. I feel it. That the more I work on myself, the more I raise my own vibration, my own growth, my own healing, it's the more I, the more you heal. Because our souls are one. And it makes sense that we are twin flames. It makes sense. It makes so much sense now. It's so clear. How we've at, we're at a very like similar same frequency bandwidth, eat the same, think the same, act the same. Not always dress the same, but I love dressing like you. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty, pretty clear to me. And if this is, is a perfect match, I am in, hundred percent. I'm in hundred percent, and I'm not. I'm not. I'm patient. I'm going to be patient and I'll take my time. I'll take my distance. And that's why I'm over here working on myself. And I want you to know if you, I don't know if she'll listen to this. <laughs> she, but I want you to know that know your worth. Know your worth. Know your worth. Know. You know who you are. But you need a reminder sometimes. Sometimes I do too. Like, wake up. I don't slap you though. I'll just be like, <laughs> wake up. Put some mangoes on you. The avocados. <laughs> Man, we had some fun times with avocados and mangoes. We had the best times ever. The best times ever. The best times ever was when we were together. I mean, when you weren't there, or when I was in there, it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same. It wasn't. It was good times. It was good times, but best, best, best times. The best movie, the best foods, the best fruits, the best moments are shared together. Yes, they are. They are shared at the highest level. But even when you're not there physically, I can still feel it energetically and at a soul level that's what unlocked within me when the moment I first saw you so I mean <laughs> you she is a goddess and I I'm a god in my own sense. I'm not the god. I'm a god in my own sense, in my own being. But if we come together, what? We can actually reconnect with God. We can actually reconnect with God. And we come together at a whole state. So the love doesn't die doesn't die no matter how hard I try to erase you from my mind my heart knows that you are she is the one at the same time you know what I'm 99.99% sure she is she doesn't but I'm still gonna be open to these new connections and I may perhaps even experience something 
better or a more perfect one. Who knows? I'm staying open to it. I'm not closing myself off. So, hmm. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever comes, it'll come. And I won't even have to plan it. And it'll just come out of the blue if it's meant for me. But for now, this is not meant for me. I'm actually meant to be alone right now and working on myself. And I have a lot of work to do. So I need to work more on myself before we can come together. I need to liberate myself more. I need to heal more blockages. I have to grow to a certain level till we can come together. And I know that when we do, when we do come together, when I do heal those things, and when I am more stable, when I am more whole within myself to the level that is perfect, then when we come together again, it'll be even better. It'll be more magical. It'll be, it'll be perfect. It'll be perfect. And then, oof, I'm not even thinking about it now, but now it's crossing my mind, but it'll be the most powerful thing in the universe because it's rare. <laughs> It's rare and it's a gem it's a jewel a god that no it's rare so that's my love story and I'm still in love I'm still in love and I'm proud to say that and I know my worth and if you're listening I want you guys to tell her. Actually, I'll tell her myself. I love you. With all my heart and soul. With all my heart and soul. And it's true. It's true. I feel it. I feel it here. Shanti, shanti, peace, peace.